Yo, it's Josh, welcome to the channel. You know life's been hard, but you know I'm making it out. Certified jitter, staying up in the drought. I think it's fair to say that I might not have a career as a pain rapper, but what I can teach you today is the quickest way to get started making pain type beats. We're specifically the chords needed to make these pain type beats. Let's get into it. For today's tutorial, we're gonna be using Keyscape, but you can really use any plugin that has a piano or an EP Rhodes kind of sound. Grab my handy dandy keyboard. I would highly recommend a mini keyboard, but you really don't need one. You can always pencil in the notes if you were savage like that. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna be teaching you these chords in the key of C minor. No need to worry though, because you can always pencil in or play these chords in C minor and then transpose them. Zaytoven actually put me on this because he was always like, you don't need to learn all the keys. You just need to learn one and then learn to hit the transpose button. All right, so right here, what you're gonna be looking at is the one chord, the six chord and the seven chord. So to illustrate these chords, what we're gonna have is your C minor chord, which is the notes C, E flat, and this F sharp or G flat. And then you're gonna have an A flat chord, which is your A flat, C and E flat. And then you're gonna have your B flat chord, which is gonna be this A sharp, which is the same as B flat. So when I say B flat, just know it's the same as A sharp. B flat, D and F. And so the foundation of all, almost all pain progressions are these three chords right here, your C minor chord, your A flat chord, and your B flat major chord. So most of these chord progressions that you hear from artists like NBA Youngboy or Lil TJ are these three chords or just some combination of those three. For example, you could do or you could do like Also like Kevin Gates type chords. So what they do is use these chords as the foundation and then just sprinkle on notes from the minor scale. Now feel free to invert these chords to get multiple different textures. Now you might be kind of scared by that, but what an inverting a chord means is basically just changing the order of the notes. Let me show you. So on this C minor chord, you have the C, the E flat and the G. So to invert it, we could just take this C and then just put it on top instead of the bottom. And so we would get a different little texture. And see, we could do the same thing. We could put the E flat on top gives it a little bit different of a texture. So remember, you only need to learn this in C minor. And those chords are C minor, A flat major, and B flat major. Once you do this, you can just transpose it. So let me show you an example of that. There's our chord progression. Let's quantize it a little bit. That one starts a little bit early. Lengthen these a little bit. So what you would do is just highlight all of the notes for whatever DAW that you're in, FL Studio, Ableton, etc., And you would just transpose it. A little quick tip, if you want your 808s to hit the hardest, make sure the four is between C and E. The reason I say this is because if you go much lower than that or any higher, the bass isn't gonna hit as hard. Science has proven that the bass hits the hardest anywhere from C, really D, E flat, and E. So right here, you can see that my four is on D and that's gonna set you up really nicely because that 808 and D is really gonna hit you in the chest. If you wanna go even further with it, you can use the three chord. And this is used in a lot of pain beats as well. Just to recap, we have our C minor chord, our A flat major chord, and our B flat major chord. What we would add is that E flat major chord. And that sounds a little something like this. So here are a couple examples of how we could incorporate that E flat chord into these pain type progressions that we already went over. So if this is a little bit overwhelming for you, just take it chord by chord. Just learn that C minor chord first, that A flat major chord, and then that B flat major chord. Practice penciling them in or playing them on your MIDI keyboard. And then if you wanna get more advanced, add in that E flat major chord. If you wanna get really advanced, you also could add a G minor chord. Now, if there is something that was a little bit confusing in this video, just drop a comment and I'll make sure to respond as quickly as possible. Also hit the subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 100 subscribers and that would really help your boy out. Anyway, y'all keep making dope music. Appreciate you guys. See y'all next time. Love you.